Hey y'all, out here at the Pigeon Forge Rod Run 2014, and I got a 69 Charger RT Street Machine. A uh, gentleman got in touch with me and said, hey, I'm gonna be at the Pigeon Forge Rod Run, will you take a look at it? He sent me pictures. I was like, oh yeah, we wanna shoot that one. So anyways, let me run John down and uh, we'll take a look at this. John, how are you, brother? Hanging in there, man. How you doing? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Well, 69 Dodge Charger we put together back there at the shop. Um, we um, stroked a 400 engine to a 512 cubic inches. So that's a 400 Chrysler motor? Yeah, 400. Mm. Like they, Chevrolet made one, Pontiac well, made one, Chrysler yeah, made one. Yeah, their, their big cars came with a 400 blocks in them. And uh, they sell stroker kit for it. It's a 440 source uh, stroker kit and heads. And got a billet specialty pulley system on it. Uh, we put a Tremec TKO 605 speed in it. It's got a Dana 60 333 posi rear end. We uh, built a custom one-off four-link rear suspension for it because uh, at the ride height we wanted to be, nobody sold a kit where you could drop the car and keep all the geometry you know, working properly. Right. So we engineered uh, a whole system to where we were able to drop the car down, raise the drive shaft tunnel, raise the transmission tunnel uh, in order to get the car as low as we wanted but still have good drive line angles. Did you drop that motor down in the engine bay or is no, that where it no, the, 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 That's where the motor would sit, Right. but we had to do a lot of modifications to put the five speed in it right uh, it just looks know, like the, it sits low in there which is a good thing yeah handling, no no it's but it looks like it just like maybe you just sat it down just a little bit you know? no that's that's a stock you is know all aluminum block and all no no that's just a paint we use on them that's sort of our trademark color we call it titanium but right. everybody seems to love that color on the engines and everything's painted that color as far as the whole suspension all the control arms up the underneath bars. finished and all that yeah, the, yeah. The, the the rear ends painted that same color and and we carried a theme throughout uh, where everything's either black, matte black, or that titanium color. You know, obviously. Now is it a Roadster shop chassis, or we got, we got no, a no, it's, chassis? No, no, it's a it's a stock chassis, so to speak, as far as the frame rails right. go. We just modified it um, a lot in order to put that four link in it. That's a triangulated setup, coilover shocks. We mini tubbed it uh, in the back, both inward and outward, in order to get that tire up underneath at 345. So you the fender out just a little bit. Well, no, we moved the tub backwards um, towards the quarter. There, there was a big hump in the factory wheel well which wouldn't allow to drop the car that far right. without moving it. And so we, we went both directions in order to, you know, that four and a half inch drop is the stance we were looking for. And you nailed that. And they all cool cars start with the right stance. And oh yeah, got you gotta it. have it. You, you gotta know, have how it. how you did the blacked out tail stripe and all that? Yeah, we wanted, you know, it, it's sort of a, a sort of a subtle, you know, to, to come across, but, but not, you know, not be real, not in your you know, standing out. Right. Yeah, you know, but but be something there, sort of that mean matte, you know, finished look. And I tell and people it's easy to get attention if you use bright colors and shiny stuff, right? But when you can matte one out or yeah. get one that's real subdued looking and draw attention, you've done something. But man, the Charger's such a beautiful car in, oh, in they this, got right? Great yeah, lines, yeah, man. Great lines. I mean, y'all, it's one of those one of those iconic cars, and I say like a Camaro or a Mustang. No matter what you got, no matter who what your brand loyalty is. Is, you gotta like these. Yeah, if you're yeah. a car guy, oh, yeah. cool is cool. And See how it did the exhaust in the I back. I saw there. that. I, that's one of the things that bothers me, and when exhaust is hanging down beneath the car, like right. out of place, and right. you know, just doesn't even look good. Uh, so we raise the exhaust up, and it's all hidden up underneath the car, and and that way, you know, it's clean, it's finished, and it looks like it was supposed to be that way. Well, but you get flex with the motor and all. I mean, what'd you do so it doesn't rattle or move around? Yeah, well, that, that tip is fixed, and then the the three inch pipe underneath it it floats inside of that tip and that way I could have tight clearances on the tip but but yet the the pipe floats inside of it I see and so that way it can move as it needs to and what wheels are you running uh, these are forged line 12 inch in the back six inch backspace six inch front um, eight inch in the front four and a half backspace on that 
See, and I like that you left the interior looking stock, but yeah, just tuned it up just to Yeah, you know, we put the white face gauges right. on it just to, you know, give it some pizzazz. Now, would have they been layered like that? Well, it, it basically it's an overlay that, you know, you can just buy and put oh, over a stock gauge, but we put um, blue LEDs in it. So when oh, it lights wow, up, yeah. it, I mean, you know, it really has a sort of a bluish glow with that white gauge there. Man, a lot, dude. And you can't tell, you know, we had to raise the whole drive shaft tunnel, transmission right. tunnel. But yeah, to look at it, it looks no, stock. No, you never know that. But yeah. the whole bottom of the back seat is like hollowed out in the middle just for the drive shaft tunnel to go through there. Right. But but not be an obvious, you know, like a pro street car. Right. Where where there's now nothing if I there. sat in that back seat, would I know that you did that? Ah, uh, if you sat in the middle. Right. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd feel it right there. there. Right. You right. know, yeah, you'd feel it. You'd feel and it. And then so. you're running Nitto tires on it. Yeah, yeah, we got the Nitto NTO fives front Those and rear. Those are just cool looking tires. Aren't they? Man. Yeah, they are. I mean, they just look. They do. Just the race. Mean. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. I don't know how they wear because uh, they're always they on wear, They wear quick. No. Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> they wear well. They come right off. Yeah. Man. And this car will do it. It's got enough power. It can turn those tires over. Oh, I bet. And yeah, it's yeah, got it, the hideaway headlights, yeah. too. Is that still working on vacuum? Or oh, have you yeah, got the motor? yeah. No, it's, it's all works off vacuum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're not the fastest <laughs> open or closed, but they, they work yeah, you time. sit there and flutter the gas a little bit. They'll come on up and go on down. Man. Anybody, Anybody we need to give a shout out to? Yeah, you know, I always say uh, thanks to the owner, Eddie Gramishi, for letting me bring the car out here. And uh, thanks to the guys back at the shop, Custom Classics and Restoration in McLeansville, North Carolina. That's Do you all have we, a website? Yes, uh, customclassicsandrestorations.com. Okay. So check what us out. What about Facebook? Uh, yeah, we do. Custom Classics and Restorations on Facebook as okay. well. And so. y'all are out of where again? Right outside of Greensboro, North Carolina in McLeansville. Oh, man, so. dude. And do you specialize? I see you did a Mopar here, but is there one brand you like over there? Yeah, uh, well, we built a lot of Camaros. Right. A lot of Camaros. We've got five Camaros in the shop right now. Um, we, But we do anything. We've got a 48 Ford in the shop right now. Uh, you know, so so if it runs and moves and rolls, we can work on it. Right. Uh, we've built quite a few Mustangs, quite a few Chevelles, quite a few Corvettes. Uh, this was our first big Mopar project, and I think we did a pretty good job with it. Rocked so you it, know, brother. I thanks uh, so much for calling yeah, me. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it, yeah. man. Anytime. Yeah, and let me know when the next one's coming. For sure, we've always got one. We, we've got eight cars in the shop right now, going at one time. So. I can't wait for the next one, brother. Yeah, I love we'll this one. Here. John, thanks so much. Hey, thank you. I'm gonna do one more quick walk yes, around sir. just to make sure we got this because that's beautiful. I want to make sure everybody can get a good good view of that car. talk about scaring your neighbors <laughs> if you bought this and brought it home your neighbors wouldn't come out of the house anytime they heard that thing start man that's cool I love them black stripes on there how they did that the wheels the stance like I said that charger the body style has always always been cool even though it's a big car it just looks cool it looks fast you know man that's sweet and folks, that's why I can't tell you what my favorite car is, right? Because <laughs> this, look how them stripes go over the hood. Man, that's cool. There you go. It's a 69. 69 Charger from the uh, Pigeon Forge Rod Run 2014. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.